Students who behave with unusual aggression, frequent temper tantrums, excessive arguing, and mean and hateful speech may be struggling with oppositional defiant disorder. Kids with ODD exhibit a pattern of uncooperative and hostile behavior toward authority figures, including parents and teachers. If you're not familiar with the symptoms and strategies to help, it can be highly disruptive and even a little scary. Your natural instinct may be to react defensively, but this can backfire and create a power struggle. For kids with ODD, an empathetic teacher who understands them and helps them deal with the issue, instead of calling them out in a negative way, can be a lifeline. Try to shift your focus from recognizing negative behavior to acknowledging positive behavior. Send home a note, for example, when students show improvements, even if they're small gains. Create opportunities for students to tell stories about their lives and actively listen when they do. Figuring out factors that contribute to an outburst and identifying triggers may help you avoid some negative situations. Strong connections will influence behavior in the classroom, but will likely not prevent outbursts altogether. Help students learn to recognize mounting feelings that lead to defiance. Look for signs of escalation, like balling up fists, withdrawing from classroom interaction, or clenching their jaw, and create a safe reset space where the student can take a break and rethink their choices. When a student with ODD does act out, responding with anger can make the behavior worse. Students may be amused or encouraged by upsetting an adult. Be cautious when approaching the student, since entering their personal space may agitate them further. Instead, adopt neutral body language and a calm tone of voice. Clearly communicate expectations and boundaries. You might say, I see you're upset, but it's not okay to yell at me. You can either go get a drink of water and come back in five minutes, or sit in the cool down spot and I will check in with you. Avoid an argument by walking away once you've stated the choices. If they try to argue, restate the choices and walk away again. You may need additional support and that's okay too. Kids with ODD can and will test your limits. But by extending your hand, reinforcing that you have their best interests at heart and making them feel like a valued member of your classroom, you'll give them the chance they need to contribute to, rather than detract from, your learning community.